I'm telling you, it was green. No, it was blue. It was green. You can't call it green. You might say it had a slight greenish tinge to it, but it was blue. You obviously just can't tell the difference between blue and green. No, it's you who can't tell the difference. Call yourself an artist. When a man wears a jacket for two blasted years, well, he ought to know what colour it is. Well, you must never have looked at it. Suppose you were too deep in intellectual thought as usual. You don't know is what goes on around you. I do. I have a keen perception of the world of the senses. Sights, sounds, odours, tactile titillations. I am a walking seismograph of sensual innuendo. I feast on them. But they're all stuff from which I weave. Balls. You can't see six inches in front of your face. You couldn't smell a room full of dead elephants. If a time bomb went off in your pocket, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you. This nonsense about the jacket just shows how unperceptive you are. No, it's you who's unperceptive. I don't think you could even imagine it were green. Right. Now I will show you how unperceptive you are. If that jacket had a tendency to any colour other than green, it was brown. Now look, I have it. It was a pure blue. It had a hint of green in it. Just a hint. But I don't know where you got brown from. Hint of green. Hint. It was green. It was green with a tendency towards brown. I never saw any brown. Oh, you wouldn't. You just see what you want to see. It was bluey green. Listen, that kind of corduroy jacket. It wasn't corduroy. Of course it was corduroy. No. It was the sort of stuff made up to look like corduroy. It was the real thing, right? How would you know? You can tell when you see real corduroy. You can tell. It's a subtle difference. It's a richer sort of texture. It was bought as corduroy. I should know. You were taken in. Oh, right, no. I was not taken in. I asked for a corduroy jacket and that is what I got. You can't afford real corduroy. It had the bloody label in it. Well, I suppose he called it corduroy. That's how they sell it, to people like you. Okay, so, so you can discern it's not corduroy. Even though it, you know, it looks like corduroy, it feels like corduroy, it's cold bloody corduroy, boy, you've got some mystic sixth sense for the real corduroy. No, but I can tell you're not close conscious like me. I know clothes. I don't dress by accident. What? I love you. I, I know we, we haven't been seeing each other for that long, but... Oh, that's just how I feel. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I, uh... <laughs> it's all right. You, you don't have to say anything. I think you'll feel the same. <laughs> what is it? How do you know? I, I, I just, I just do. Okay, I'm with you. I don't want to be anywhere else. I love you, Charlie. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> It's a lot to process. I guess I didn't realise. It's this friend of yours, isn't it? Oh, I knew it. What? You and the Blackworth kid. No. Wait, you know who he is? Everyone knows who he is. 
How can you be in love with that guy? Don't say it like that. You don't know him. Have you been sleeping with him all this time? No! Sebastian and I never. Anything. Ever. You are in love with him. No. No. How could I be? You don't get it. Oh, oh please. I get it. Everyone has their Sebastian. Listen, I want to be with you. It doesn't matter. You, you're so young. I just forget that sometimes. What? You think you don't deserve to be loved. You're taking a huge leap there, Tim. Let me tell you how this ends. You don't get your Sebastian. Because it's not real. It's an idea of a person. It's a childhood obsession. And really, it's a poor excuse. It's like this, this fucked up umbilical cord that you are choosing to stay attached to so you don't have to open yourself up to anyone. Wait, Tim! No, just... Call me when you're ready to let someone else in.